Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial. Today we are building a 2023 Freightliner Cascadia that you see right behind me. This was not a request or anything like that. It's just a, in my opinion, a very sleek looking truck, very modern and one of my favorite truck designs overall. So I thought I would design one and pass it along to all of you. Here are the materials that we are going to need today. It is quite a bit of detailing on this, so you are gonna wanna make sure you have all of those. And without further ado, let's get right into the build. Start with your two front wheels placed one block apart from each other with black concrete. And then we are going to leave a six block gap going towards the back on the seventh block. Place another black concrete two more wheels like this and then a one block gap and place two more wheels yet again. Then take your black stone slabs and just place a row down the middle in between all of the wheels like this and a row of three across the front. Then from these back wheels leave a one block gap going towards the front and fill in the rest of those sides with black stone slabs. It should be five more in total on each of those sides. And then in between the back four wheels, right in the middle, one more black stone slab. So it should look something like this. Now we can move on to our quartz. Actually take your black concrete first, place one on the very front middle, and then take out your quartz stairs. Place two quartz stairs on either side, right side up facing forward. And then we are going to place an upside down stair over the front wheels on both sides and take your smooth quartz blocks and then place one, two, three, four, five, six blocks going towards the back. We can turn this upside down stair right behind it. So go to the front, stand so that you are facing the back and then turn that stair so it is going out. So it's right side up stair facing the front, upside down over the wheel, upside down stair turned out. The rest of these blocks behind it will be smooth quartz blocks. So we should now be looking about like this. Take out your smooth quartz stairs, place a right side up stair on that front middle block, and then turn it and turn it again. So you are going to go sideways and then go back around to the front and turn it back out. So that should look like this. In between all those stairs, place a smooth quartz block, and behind it, one more row of smooth quartz blocks all behind that. We can extend this all the way to the back on both sides and connect it across the back just like this. And then we can extend this back row up by one and two more like so. Take out your black stained glass on that first row of full quartz blocks, place a row of black stained glass going across the front and extend it back by one. Right behind the glass, smooth quartz blocks, right behind those quartz, white concrete so that should look like this. I know it's kind of hard to tell but that white concrete just breaks up the color ever so slightly and works as the compartment. On the front glass blocks here place three quartz stairs going across the middle and then smooth quartz blocks all behind those. Leave a one block gap right here above the white concrete and we are going to place a right side up stair from the back in between that gap right on top of the white concrete. In between those stairs place a black concrete block and finally we are just going to place a 3x3 three three square with our smooth quartz slabs starting from the very back and then extend it forward by two and fill that in. So the truck itself is finished, we have the shape of all that. Now it is time to move on to the detailing and boy do we have a lot of it. So go ahead and grab the rest of your materials. If you have access to commands, I will leave the command for the clear item frame in the description below. If not, you can use normal item frames, those will work just fine. Start here in the front and place three clear item frames across the bottom blackstone slabs, and then two item frames on each of those quartz stairs right above them. And then do one more row of item frames on top of these stairs above the glass. Take your lingering potion of fire resistance and place those on the black stone slabs down below and the quartz stairs up above. And then we are going to turn these 180 degrees so they are upside down. And these are going to work as our reflector lights. 
Same thing on the bottom, just turn these so that they are completely upside down. In those two clear item frames on the stairs, we are just going to place our strength potions in there. And if you are not playing in 1. I think, when did they do this? I want to say 1.19.3 or 4, they removed the enchanted effect on the potions. If you were playing on an earlier version, you can use orange and yellow concrete instead. That will work just fine. And then take your Wither Skeleton Skulls, stand on the side of the truck, and place one on this side of that stair, and one on this side of that stair. So that should look like this. Now we are going to do the windows, place black stained glass panes on the front glass blocks on the sides, and levers underneath those windows. Go around to the very back, and we can place two gray banners on the back set of wheels, just like this. And now we are just going to work on the side a little bit more, right underneath this side window, place a clear item frame, place a clear item frame on the white concrete, and then going down, leave a one block gap, and on that bottom quartz, one more clear item frame. And these two item frames right here, andesite slabs, polished andesite slabs, and then underneath the window here, a polished andesite stair, and we can turn that so it's facing back. Same thing on this side, with the clear item frame under the window, on the white concrete, and one block gap in between it going down. Polished andesite slabs in the two back item frames, and a polished andesite stair. Turn that so it's upside down, facing backwards. And the very last step we have is to place stone buttons on all of the wheels, and there is your finished 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. I know there's a lot going on on this truck, but I am very happy with how it has all turned out. If you did enjoy this tutorial, definitely hit that thumbs up button and be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content as soon as I publish it. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.